Ah, digital stores with digital content. Must be so easy to sit at home and buy eShop games while eating. Yes, while owning digital games is convenient, it comes with its own unforeseen problems. And that's what we're going to discuss today. And more specifically, the Nintendo 3DS XL, eShop, and NNID, Nintendo Network ID, recovery procedures. If you're trying to move your NNID to a new 3 d system but can't because Nintendo won't let you, then this video is for you. I've been through this process a number of times and managed to move my NNID to a different 3DS each time, three times to be exact. But let me clarify, the NNID can only be used on one 3DS system. You can't have the same NNID on a 3DS XL, a 3DS, and a new 3DS. I'm also going to cover the information you should keep in the future to make sure the transition goes more smoothly. Let us begin. Let me start by setting up the problems I encountered after buying a used 3DS XL off of Facebook Marketplace and tried to use my original NNID. I first tried to access the internet settings, but was denied by parental controls. The seller said he didn't know the PIN for the parental controls, so I had to solve this problem first. Thankfully, it's really easy. I found this video on YouTube that makes it really simple. I'll run through it really quick, but I'll provide a link of his video in the description if you need some more explained details. Start by booting up the system and heading to Parental Controls. Tap on Forgot Pin. Tap on I Forgot when asked about the secret question. Write down the inquiry number. You'll use the provided link for a site to generate a master key to remove the parental controls. You'll need to take note of your system's date. Enter this information into the M key generator. Write down the master key. Now go back to your system, hit OK, and enter the master key. Voila! You're going to need access to the entire system, so after you remove the parental controls, connect to an internet access point. Let your system download any updates it needs to. Now we can move on to the real problem. Since my old 3DS XL is literally non-existent and it's still linked to my NNID account via serial number and such, we need to remove it. However, only Nintendo can do this directly. They are the ones who have access to this kind of power. You'll have to give them a call via this phone number. As you can see, the number to contact Nintendo is 1-800-255-3700. You can find this number on their website as well. The automated voice machine is easy to navigate in order to speak with a Nintendo representative. You'll need to have some information ready when you're going to talk to them. When I first called them, they sent me a form to fill out as much as I was able to, which had various pieces of information they needed to verify my identity. This included my old serial number for my 3DS XL, as well as the one I had just purchased, my full name, the last four digits of a credit card or debit card that was used on the eShop, and a list of the previous games I had owned on the eShop, as well as my NNID username. All of these things help prove who you say you are. I ended up doing that by the second call and the fifth email. It took a bit more time than the last time I had to do this, but only because I was missing some information. The last time I bought something with a credit card tied to the eShop account was two years ago. It had long since expired and I had no records of it. This made it a little more difficult to prove my identity to the representative on the phone. I was, however, able to get a list of a handful of games which was enough to prove myself. This process took between one to two weeks, but this also depends on how quick you are getting back to them. By this point, you should have called Nintendo and gone through the entire process and got your account successfully recovered. This means that Nintendo removed the old serial number tied to the NNID for that specific family of systems, in my case, the 3DS XL. Now you should be able to sign in with your NNID on your 3DS XL without any problems. 
Now let's wrap this up by going over what you should document in the future so you won't have to worry about it and won't give yourself a headache. You'll also need to take note of your NNID number, its corresponding password, and the nickname or username tied with that account. You're going to want to write down your system's serial number, sometimes located on the battery of the console. It can be easily accessed with a precision screwdriver, removing the battery cover, revealing the serial number. You'll also need to keep a complete list of every purchase under your eShop account. It'll be under eShop menu settings, other settings, re-downloadable content, and any games that have already been downloaded. And finally, you need to keep this information in multiple places. If you're not a very organized person and often lose things, put this in a Word document, text document, or what have you. Save said document to a USB drive, your internal storage, your phone, just put it in multiple places. In the future, you'll be able to file a support case through Nintendo, if need be, much easier. This is what it's like owning digital things. I think much more fondly of owning hard copies now. but. Places like Steam seem to have a great system for owning these digital games, in, the, in which case Steam has offline mode. I'll save that for another time though. Hopefully this video gave you some insight and proved useful in some way. And with that said, please enjoy your day.